Eloro in Bolivia. This company just has the most insane drill results for silver, lead, zinc, tin. And I know uh, the tin thing is something uh, where we forgot to look for tin for a couple of decades. And this is a huge potential tin deposit also. I saw tin prices are going through the roof. So you, you sort of get it all with the Laurel, right? And uh, just huge, thick, open pit potential. What do you what do you see in lately from a Laurel? You know, look, they've had a, an endless stream of very good drill results over the past two years now. Just endless, okay? Since September of 2020, when they first talked about intersecting uh, long intervals of of you know visible polymetallic mineralization, and then putting out their first significant results in January, I think, of 2021. This company has done nothing but deliver. And they've drilled this thing very systematically, had a very good approach. They use geophysics that integrates with the geologic modeling. And they've really come up with a clear picture of where the, the higher grade part of the system is. It seems to be in the Santa Barbara area where they had the most recent results. And there, southward, it seems to be growing. Okay, so... The results that they announced here just last week were just jaw-dropping. Okay, it's 150 gram silver equivalent, but over 441 meters. You know, that, that's crazy. That's almost a half a kilometer uh, of mineralization, continuous mineralization. Well, and let's, it's do the, let's do the math real quick. Just, you know, gram meters per ton. That's what people, you know, how you determine whether something's good or not. So 150.47 over 441 66,388 gram meters. Now, I, you know, I, you know, Don Durrett, and you've seen that chart I do with Don Durrett. Anything over 5,000 is considered stellar. So this is, you know, 13 times more than a stellar it, hole. It is, it is absolutely insane. You know, I'm a gold guy, so I instantly look at the silver equivalent there and I convert it to grams. Gold, and that's about 1.8 gram gold equivalent. You know, so imagine if you had a headline, you know, 1.8 gram gold equivalent over 441 meters. You know, everybody would fall out of their chair. You know, I think the the that, that's like uh, snow line level gold. <laughs> that's yeah, right. right. <laughs> yeah. So I, you know, I think the challenge people have is understanding the polymetallic nature of this system. You know, each drill hole from area to area, you sometimes you see a lot of lead zinc in some areas. Sometimes you see a lot more silver in other areas. Sometimes you see a lot more tin in other areas. But overall, it's one big mineral system that's, you know, broadly zoned uh, amongst all of these metals. And, you know, these drill holes are just jaw dropping. OK, you know, people might say, well, hold on, it's nine grams silver. Yeah, but you're going to capture that silver with your your leg con. And the zinc here is insanely high. One point five percent zinc in an open pit. Are you kidding me? That's that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, this is basically, you know, like if, if you want to convert to dollars, I mean, this runs around $90 to $100 per ton in metal uh, value. So open pit, look at your average porphyry, maybe half percent copper, something like that. Yeah. You know, you're looking right now at, you know, $50, $60 in metal per ton in, in most open pit operations. This is going to clearly be an open pit. Look at the depths. I mean, this is shallow. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, 90 to a hundred dollar rock. Yeah. Let me in. Okay. This is, this is going to be a killer open pit deposit. It is very typical of Bolivian polymetallic systems. It has this, you know, just a smorgasbord of different metals, uh, in involved and it, they all make money. Okay. Every single one of these deposits of this type in Bolivia has produced a world-class mine. This will be one of them. Yeah. So, it, you know, people should not get hung up on just the silver. It's it's silver, lead, zinc, and tin. So you're getting all four of those key metals in right. open pit, you know, very low cost mining, you know, a couple dollars per ton to mine this stuff, right? And the rock is worth, like you said, 90 at current prices, $90 a ton. Um, That's correct. Out yeah. there. So, you know, people, you know, a lot of these mines where we analyze the numbers, they have to be much higher grade because they're underground mines. So you need an underground mine needs much higher grades per ton. But an open pit like this, you want really thick, huge intervals like this, 441 meters. And this is a great number in an open pit design, right? 
It is. Look, uh, you know, I, I know the Bolivian systems fairly well at this point. I've been doing a lot of work on these types of systems in, in recent days. You know, obviously there are places that are higher grade than, than this, but, you know, these long intervals, like you say, are conducive for uh, a big open pit mine. In this case, they're dealing with a target that's already over two kilometers in strike. You know, so the tonnage is, is definitely going to be there. There's a huge, huge volume of rock they're dealing with. It's open at depth. It's still open to the south, southeast. They're continuing to drill. One of the things they talk about in this news release is the plans to continue drilling because they're seeing such good results in this area. So uh, before they publish a resource, I would love to see them kind of drill this thing off uh, to its fullest. There's no point in publishing a result uh, resource right now. Anyway, the market's uh, you know struggling at, at best right now. I think uh, waiting, doing good work, and then publishing a resource once the market rebounds in a few months is, is a better way to go. Long story short, what do we know about this project? It's going to be big. It's going to be really big. It's going to be a world-class deposit. It's got all of the metals that we would like to see, silver, zinc, lead, but it's also got tin, that tin kicker. It's going to go through a resource phase here where they announce a resource sometime in Q1 of next year. That will be taken through economic study. This thing is on a fast track uh, to uh, you know, demonstrate a wildly economic system. The metallurgy has been done now. They've got great recoveries of both zinc and lead. They're working on the tin uh, right now. Initial results, very promising for the tin as well. This thing is being de-risked minute by minute. And I think the ultimate outcome of this is going to be delivery of one of the biggest metal discoveries in many, many years.